example, because my freshman year of college, bro, like I didn't know how to navigate through that thing. And so it was a summer, you know, you get that bill, that big old bill to say you're on your own, all, all that tuition or whatever. And I've got that bill and I had, I didn't get the education of how to navigate the bills. Like I didn't know to wait, don't worry about it. My immediate reaction was like, dang, I'm about to get kicked out of school. And just so happened that summer, a teacher from my high school was in the same dorm I was in that summer. And it was the teacher everybody was scared of in high school. And just so happens she was at a teacher conference at my school at the same time I was there. And lo and behold, we started fellowshipping. And then somewhere along the lines, I got to telling her about it and didn't think nothing of it. I walked away. She went back to my high school and raised the money and gave me the check so I can continue through school. And then she just disappeared. Right. And so it goes back to what it says in the Bible about being careful of who you, you know, you fellowshiping with because they may be angels. I'm, I'm paraphrasing using the NIV version, but but it may be they may be angels walking amongst us. And so when, when we talk about, you know, the potential of the Judas being amongst you, you is we only think about the Judas. We don't think about the, the other 11. That could be that, you know what I'm saying? We, we only focus on the, the Judas. And I don't know if that's our culture that we, we immediately are taught about Judas immediately, but we're not, we not taught about the angel that could be walking the, amongst us. Again, you're listening to the Educate You podcast being brought to you by My College Draft, where education is the new money. Get some.